OK, so let's say I want to find the centre and radius of each of these circles. So if we have a look at this first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on both parts, the x squared plus 6x and the y squared minus 4y. So the x squared plus 6x will be x plus 3 squared take away 9. So that's half the 6 becomes the 3, and then take away the square of that number. OK, so take away 9. Plus the y squared minus 4y will become y minus 2 squared take away 4. And I've got that min minus 12 at the end. So if I write both of the brackets parts first, what I've got left can be thrown onto the right-hand side. So we've got minus 9, take away 4, so minus 13. Take away 12 is minus 25. So add 25 to both sides. And so I can now say that the centre is at minus 3, 2, and the radius will be equal to the square root of 25, so 5. And that is your first one. So for number two, if I complete the square on both the parts, so I'm going to have x minus 6 squared take away 36. And then for the y squared minus 8y, I'm going to have y minus 4 squared take away 16. And I've got that plus 49 on the end. Okay. So if I write the brackets parts first, okay, so I've got this minus 36, take away 16, plus 49, gets me minus 3, so add the 3 to both sides. And so I can say that the centre is at 6, 4, and the radius will be the square root of 3, okay? Now, always remember that it is only the positive root 3. You don't uh, get a negative 3 because the radius is a length, and we can't have a negative length. OK, so number 3. 2x squared plus 36x plus 2y squared minus 4y plus 163 equals 0. OK, now if you're faced with this situation, now... It's a circle, definitely, because we've got 2x squared and 2y squared. So you can divide everything through by 2 first. And that'd probably be a best, your best bet. Okay. So I'm going to have x squared plus uh, half of 36 is 18, plus y squared minus 2y plus, what's that, 80, 81.5 equals 0. So then complete the square on both parts. So x plus 9 squared minus 81. And then the second part, y minus 1 squared take away 1. And I've got that 81.5 on the end. So if I write x plus 9 squared plus y minus 1 squared first, I've got the minus 81 take away 1 plus 81.5. And that gets me uh, minus a half. Add the half to both sides. Okay, so then we know that the centre is going to be at minus 9, 1, and the radius will be the square root of a half, which is the same as the 1 over root 2, which, if you simplify that, rationalise the denominator, will give you root 2 over 2. Okay, that's your radius. So, for the last one, 100x squared plus 100x plus 100y squared minus 160y minus 2,311 equals 0. So if I divide everything through by 100 first, then I will get x squared plus x plus y squared minus 1.6y minus... Um, 23.11 okay equals 0 so completing the square on the x squared plus x part I get x plus 1 half squared take away a half squared so take away a quarter 
Then here we're going to have y. Uh, half of 1.6 is 0 0.8. So take away 0 0.8, so 4 fifths squared. Take away 16 over 25, the square of the 4 fifths. And I've got that take away 23.11. So writing both brackets first. Then I've got this minus 1 quarter. Take away 16 over 25. Take away 23.11. And that gets me minus 24. Add the 24 to both sides. So the centre for this last circle is minus a half four fifths and the radius is the square root of 24 okay which is 2 root 6 okay and that's how you can find the center and radius of circles given in that format